hello so in today's video we have to find the value of x where my equation is x power 6 minus x power cube equals to 2 so first of all we just split the power 6 into x power cube over power square which gives us back as power 6 minus x cube and this 2 will come to that side so it will be become as minus 2 equals to 0 now we see in both terms we have x power cube so we can say that let's x power cube will be substituted by y so in place of x power cube i will write y so now my equation is y square minus y minus 2 equals to 0 which is an quadratic equation now we have to apply a factorization method or by using quadratic formula we can find the values of the variable so over here i am just applying a factorization method how multiply the first and last terms coefficient so over here the coefficient of y square is 1 and this one is 2 1 and 2 multiply gives us back 2 so i have to write the factors of 2 which gives us the middle term so i am just taking 1 and 2 y square plus y minus 2y minus 2 equals to 2 now we have to take common from first 2 and last 2 in first 2 we have y then the remaining one is y plus 1 in the last 2 we have common 2 y plus 1 equals to 0 y minus 2 in one bracket and y plus 1 equals to 0 now both brackets are multiplied to each other and equate to 0 so we just have to equate them separately by 0 y plus 1 equals to 0 y equals to 0 plus 2 minus 2 moves to that end so it will give us plus 2 0 plus 2 is equals to 2 y equals to 0 plus 1 move to that end so it will give us minus 1 0 minus 1 equals to minus 1 where y equals to x power cube so because y is an imaginary variable the original variable is x so we can say that x cube equals to 2 and over here x cube equals to minus 1 for finding the value of x we have to remove this cube so we can say that taking cube root on both sides x cube cube root equals to 2 cube root cube and roots are cancelled and over here we get 2's power 1 upon 3 similarly on this side minus 1 cube root so we can say that x is equals to minus 1's power 1 upon 3 or you can say that x is equals to minus 1 because whatever the power uh, or the root 1 is having it will give us an answer back as 1 we get two values of x which are x power is equals to 2 power 1 upon 3 and x is equals to minus 1 now we have to check either these values justify our equation or not so we can just simply write to check x power 6 minus x power 3 equals to 2 put x is equals to 2 power 1 upon 3 so in place of this x i will write 2 power 1 upon 3 and the whole power is 6 minus 2 power 1 upon 3 and the whole power will be cube equals to 2 these will be cancelled out so now we get 2 power 2 minus 2 equals to 2 2's power 2 means 4 4 minus 2 equals to 2 so 2 equals to 2 means this verify the answer now we also put 
x equals to minus 1. Minus 1's power 6 minus minus 1's power cube equals to 2. Whenever we have a negative base with an even power, so it will give us a positive answer. And whenever we have negative base with an odd power, so we will get the answer as negative. 1 minus minus plus equals to 2. 1 plus 1 equals to 2 equals to 2. So we can say that x equals to minus 1 and 2's power 1 upon 3. Hope you like the video. Do subscribe. Take care. Bye-bye.